Well, sometimes you really can't make these things up. My name's Steve Ridgel, and I want to tell you about a man who had a little problem, but I think tried to do a good thing, and it's really a strange story. Behan Mutlu from Turkey. I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing his name right, but he's about 50 years old, and he's a construction worker over there, and he went out for a weekend of drinking, and while drinking with his buddies, he wandered off into the woods. When they couldn't find him and let his wife know, apparently everybody got nervous, they formed a search party and started going through the woods, apparently yelling, Behan, Behan, trying to get his attention. Well, as he's wandering through the woods, he sees this search party and apparently wanting to help them find who's missing, he joins the search party and then begins to hear them calling his name and has to say, wait, that's me, here I am. <laughs> You know, you've got to love a story like that. You get lost, they try to help you, you try to help and find out you're the one who's lost. You know, it's kind of like some Christians who want to follow Jesus and we read the parable of the lost sheep and they always think it's someone else. They don't really realize that sometimes they're the lost sheep Jesus is looking for because here's what happens. Just like Bahan wandered into the woods and apparently got lost, it's really easy to drift away from Jesus. You wake up one day and you realize you're not reading your Bible. You're not praying. You don't really assemble with the saints. You don't remember the last time you took communion. Oh, you're still a good person. And, and, and you, you would say if you were asked, yes, I believe in Jesus. But you just really have kind of lost your connection. Not on purpose, not even realize it sometimes. So here's what I'm telling you. Every once in a while it's healthy to take a little inventory because, you know, just because you pick up your Bible or just because you go to church doesn't necessarily mean you're connected to Jesus. But those are good symptoms, good signs to find out kind of how to take your spiritual temperature. Am I still hot for Jesus or I'm early getting kind of cold and don't even know it? So do a little inventory. Check out your Bible. If you can't find it real quick, you know you probably need to sharpen it up. Your prayer life. When's the last time you prayed for anything other than, oh, Jesus, I'm in trouble, help me? Maybe you ought to sharpen it up. When's the last time you actively worship with your community of faith? I'm not even talking about going to church. Maybe it was family church or a prayer with somebody. Or when, When's the last time you actively worship? You know, we need to think through those things because if we're not careful, we make a little mistake, wander into the woods, and pretty soon the search party's out for us as the lost sheep. And if we're smart, when we see it and we try to help and realize we're the ones lost, we'll announce it, we'll be found, and on we'll go. So this is Steve Rich, was just thinking, I'm glad Behan found himself or got found or however that works and asking us to take a little look and be sure we're not the ones that the search party is after.